Yeah, he had that last one where he walked trying to get it into Baycott. But at least he gets to play five on five on the other end with the turnover that gets out of bounds. Baker getting some big minutes. All right, so in this video, we're breaking down some keys to perimeter scoring. You can see that this athlete here is already shot ready. And when the defender closes out, they're simply going to give a shot fake, rip by, one dribble, knock down the jumper. Again, we're looking at this athlete over here in the corner. Now notice that they do drift on the ball moving to the corner. And then once they get the ball, they can see that this defender has an extremely long closeout. So when they get the ball, again, they're just going to simply rip, get by, and pull up a shot. In the next clip, we see much of the same exact thing. This defender has a very long closeout. You see that they have to run and cover at least 10 to 15 feet. So this individual is going to utilize a shot fake, take a one dribble, pull up jumper. In our next clip, the person who gets the ball is actually going to utilize a pass fake or a ball fake, and this gets them into their jump shot as well. And you may have noticed that the majority of these are one, two dribble pull up. Now here, this individual is isolated and they look to see where the help defense is and they're not there. So they simply dribble into the area where the help defense isn't and then they're able to get into their shot. Let's check these clips out again live so you can see how they flow within the game. But at least you get to play five on five on the other end with the turnover that gets out of bounds. Baker getting some big men. Change defenses at will against Presbyterian in that two game sweep. Mangum, good head and part of uh, this experience. For so they play it straight too. They don't give him a hard time. Most times. <laughs> Let's review. When scoring on the perimeter, remember, you can keep it simple. It doesn't always have to be a combo move or an isolation. If the defender has a long closeout, you can attack them. Utilize shot fakes and pass fakes, and pay attention to where the help defense is and try to exploit these areas.